In this session, we are going to talk about mediation, the conceptualization, interpretation, and reporting of mediation. Now, what is mediating variable? A mediator variable is the variable that causes mediation in the dependent and the independent variables. In other words, it explains the relationship between the dependent variable and the independent variable. The variable that explains the mechanism of impact of independent variable on dependent variable is referred to as a mediator. When we say that the impact of IV on DV is not direct and it is through another variable or variables, that third variable or variables is or are the mediator or mediators. Simply put, the IV affect the MV, the mediating variable, and that leads to the dependent variable. What we are in simple terms saying is that IV does not affect the DV directly, but it is actually the IV affecting the mediating variable and that in turn affect or affects the dependent variable. So it's a causal chain of relationship where the independent variable IV affects the mediating variable MV and that in turns affect the dependent variable. Now, what is mediation? The form of interrelationship between IV, MV and DV is referred to as mediation. Mediation involves a set of causal hypotheses. Initial, an, an initial variable may influence an outcome variable through a mediating variable. Mediation is also referred to as causal chain in which one variable affects a second variable and that in turn affects the third variable. The first variable is referred to as independent, the second as mediator and the third variable is referred to as the dependent variable. A variable may be considered a mediator to the extent to which it carries the influence of a given independent variable to a given dependent variable. Now, generally speaking, mediation can set to occur when the IV significantly affects the mediator. The IV significantly affects the DV in absence of the mediator. The mediator has a significant unique effect on the DV. The effect of IV on the DV shrinks upon the addition of the mediator to the model. So the effect of IV on DV in absence of mediator is higher but when the mediator comes into the equation or comes into the model the impact of IV on DV shrinks because now the impact of IV on DV is passing through another variable which is the mediator. Mediation occurs if the effect of independent variable on dependent variable is partly or entirely transmitted by the mediator. The independent variable may have direct effect on the dependent variable that is not transmitted through the mediator. So there could be an effect that is passing through the mediator and there could be some effect passing directly from the IV to D. Now if we see this slide there are two diagrams. This is the impact of IV on DV without any mediator or without any third variable. So we can refer to this as the total effect when IV starts to impact or when IV impacts the DV. So the effect is the total effect. A mediation hypothesis can be represented by a diagram of causal model. Two frameworks have been identified here. This is one and here is the second one. The first framework shows a direct effect or direct path model depicting the total effect of IV on DV where C represents the path when mediating variable is not included in the model. So C is the total effect of IV on DV. The second diagram here where we have the mediating variable. The second diagram depicts the relationship and paths when mediating variable is included into the study. A points to the path from IV to the mediator B. So sorry, uh, IV to the mediator. So A, this path here is the effect of IV on the mediating variable. And this path here B represents the effect of mediating variable on the dependent variable. Now the C or C complement path 
this actually represents the direct effect now that there is mediator in this equation the effect of iv on dv is referred to as the direct effect whereas in this case it was the total effect because there was no other variable through which the impact would have passed so here the c is the total effect and here c complement is the direct effect and the impact of iv on dv through the mediating variable is the indirect effect now we need all these three things in order to interpret our mediation analysis and report it now the total effect is the impact of iv on dv without the involvement of the mediator which is c the indirect effect is the impact of iv on dv through the mediating variable so a into b is your indirect effect and if this effect is significant we can say that there is mediation the direct effect the impact of iv on dv in presence of the mediator that is c complement now there are different forms of mediation complete mediation this form of mediation exists if the predictor iv exerts its full influence on the dependent variable through the mediating variable the second is partial mediation this form of mediation exists if the predictor variable which is our iv exerts some in of its influence via the mediator so some of the impact of iv on the dependent variable is passing through the mediator however there is also influence exerted from iv to dv that is your path c is also significant that is the direct effect is also significant so when the indirect effect and the direct effect both are significant we say that it's partial mediation when the direct effect is insignificant and the indirect effect is significant we say complete mediation but when there is no indirect effect or the path a into b is insignificant we say there is no mediation now we have this model where servant leadership affects career satisfaction and career satisfaction in turn leads to life satisfaction this is a, a very simple mediation mediation model here cs is our mediator sl is our independent variable ls is our dependent variable this path here is our a this path here is b and this is in this case it's c complement now we have already run this analysis and if we go into the results this is what we see so this path coefficient here this section represents the direct effects so the effect of sl on ls the independent and dependent variable is insignificant so direct effect is insignificant the effect of sl on cs path a is significant the effect of cs on ls path b is also significant now in order to interpret or in order to report the mediation results as we've already noted we need the total effect we need the direct effect and we need the indirect effect so this is our direct effect so in presence of mediator the impact of sl on ls is insignificant now where is our total effect so if we come down here here in final results here is our total effect and if you look here the total effect is significant so without the mediator into the equation the impact of servant leadership on life satisfaction is actually significant but when the mediator comes into play the direct effects becomes insignificant so we can say well there could be and there is some mediation and as it looks it is complete mediation so now let let us look at the specific indirect effects the impact of sl on ls through cs is significant so what we see is that the specific indirect effect or the indirect effect in this case is significant the total effect was significant however the indirect effect was insignificant so this shows that there is complete or total mediation this means that the impact of servant leadership on life satisfaction is completely transmitted through career satisfaction now how do we report these results if we i've got a template here 
in MS Word. So if we open MS Word here. Now this is our mediation analysis. So what we need is we need sorry uh, let me just change these here SL on LS. So this is our total effect. Now this is our C complement servant leadership on ls and this is our indirect effect sl on ls so what's the total effect here is our template mediation analysis was performed to assess the mediating role of mv so what was our mv it was cs career satisfaction on the linkage between iv iv was servant leadership and dv dv was life satisfaction the results from table 1 or you can rename the number uh, as per your convenience in your results reveal that the total effect of SL on LS was significant. So what's the total effect? Let's go back and if we go into total effects, the total effect is this 0.268. We can just uh, copy it from here and just for now for the sake of interpretation and reporting we just paste it here okay so the beta value is 0.268 the t value is 6.650 and the p value is less than 0.001 now don't need this for now so let's remove it with the inclusion of the mediating variable which is in this case career satisfaction the impact of SL on LS servant leadership on life satisfaction became insignificant how do we know it became insignificant if we go into this path coefficient which show us the direct effects so it's 0.034 so point zero three four the t value is point nine five eight and the p value is point three three eight point three three eight the indirect effect of sl on servant leadership on life satisfaction through career satisfaction was found significant so where is this indirect effect here is this specific indirect effect in this case the total indirect effect and specific indirect effect would be the same because you've got only one mediator see both of them are same so let's go to specific indirect effects so 0.234 is our beta coefficient that is weight of impact and it's higher than 0 0.20 so obviously it was significant 7.336 7.336 and p-value is less than 0 0.001 this shows that the relationship between summit leadership and life satisfaction is fully mediated by career satisfaction why fully mediated because the direct effect became insignificant the total effect was significant and the indirect effect was significant now what we need to do is just put these values into this table so what was the total effect 0.268 and the p-value is 0 0.000 what was the direct effect now the direct effect was 0 0.034 and the p-value was 0.338 now this is our hypothesis let's name number with h2 slcs ls now what was the coefficient of the indirect effect it was 0.0 0.234 the standard deviation let's copy it from here it's 0 0.032 what was the t value 7.336 what was the p value p000 and what is this bias corrected confidence interval so it's this so 0 0.169 0 0.294 0 0.169 2 0.294 294 now there is no zero in between there is no zero in between this means that the indirect effect is significant so this is how one can easily report 
the mediation analysis. I hope this video was, uh, would have helped you understand the concept of mediation and would have helped you understand how to report mediation analysis results. Kindly subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.